Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is AJ. Uh, I am so excited because today I am gonna be doing a makeup look that I have been practicing in the past couple days and I have finally been able to get it the way I want it to look. I also gonna be reviewing my first first shoe from uh, Jeffree Star um, Mirrors and I just got myself the Jawbreaker Mirror and I am so excited about opening it. I am a, a big fan of Jeffree Star's cosmetics and his makeup but if I'm honest I have never buy one of his mirrors before and I am so excited about opening this one because every time I'm doing my makeup I'm just only using my eyeshadow palette and sometimes the eyeshadow palette is so big and it's so like hard to like keep up on my face to be able to do all the looks so I'm really excited about trying it out I got it at, at Facebook market it but I know you can get it on Jeffree Star's website and on Beauty Bay for $25 I paid a little bit extra because I wanted to be able to pick it up and I'm just excited I can't wait to start already I am also going to be reviewing a wig that I bought from Amazon not too long ago and I cannot wait to try it on camera. Um, I started wearing wigs because I have my, my hair is very pink and at work unfortunately they do not allow me to wear pink. So like or not I have to figure it out to be able to keep my pink hair. So I am so excited. Um, let's start. Let's just cut into it already. So I am going to say to start. I was expecting it to be a lot smaller. If I'm honest, this is a big box and it feels like really, really nice. Like it does not feel cheap at all. Like it's feel like it's worth it. And it comes with like the Jeffree Star logo. It comes with the little um information and then you have this little seal over here that seals that it had never been opened and as you can see it's from the job breaker collection so i am going to try to get this off without breaking it because i want to keep the original package as it is um i never thought i would be buying it if i'm honest but i was like i saw the job breaker collection and i just fell in love with the mirror and i just had to have Big. Oh my god, look at this. This is a really cute mirror. It's a lot more pink than I thought it would be. I love the fact that the, in the inside, it comes with like this little sponge on it. I don't know if you can see it good. Spin sponge. It's like to protect the front end breaking. And it's like really soft. It's, it has like the Jeffree Star Cosmetic logos on the bottom. And it's like very drop breaking. It looks like I drop breaking. Like this is so big. Look at this. It's like size of my face, literally. Like no joke. Like I was expecting it to be a lot smaller if I'm honest. Because I never have bought Jeffree Star mirror. And I mean we're talking about Jeffree Star. You can what else can you expect from him? He he only works doing the best, I guess. So I gotta say, I can see my whole face in this mirror. It's really nice. It feels really nice. I love this. Wow. This looks literally like a jawbreaker, no joke. I just wish I could have got it on Y2. And you know, the fact that I like this is back because it means I got a new addiction. And my addiction to Jeffree Star's uh, makeup is already really big, so this is just gonna be another excuse for me to empty my pockets. So <laughs> I guess I'm gonna start doing these makeup looks and using it to see if it actually works. So far, it's incredible how much of my face I can see in it. It's crazy. Well, let's start this already. But to start, I'm gonna start wearing the Mary Kay H Fighting. Um, moisturizer, and I'm gonna apply all over my face because I have very dry skin before I start anything. After I'm done applying all the moisturizer out of my face, I am going to pass to the foundation primer from Mary Kay 2. I barely got any left already. 
and I have to refill but I really like this primer I don't know y'all but I have really sensitive skin and it gets messed up really easily but so I'm kind of scared about trying new skincare routine for that reason <laughs> Correctors and the color corrector to the peach and green. So I'm gonna be applying it around my face to cover all this redness and all these parts that I don't want y'all to see. So yeah, I'm done. You know, color correcting my face. The next step I'm gonna be using, everyone at work have been asking me what type of foundation I use. I use the Maybelline uh, Fit Me, is a matte plus porous, poreless uh, formula, and it's on the color 130, is both beige. I love this foundation because it makes my skin look really matte. And that's what I like, you know, I work on a place where there's a lot of heat. So I don't like looking sweaty, especially because I work a lot around food, so... I love when my foundation stays in place. So I am done running my foundation in, and I gotta say I'm loving this mirror. It's like I can see my whole face. So right now, as you can see, my light I have their face look a little bit light, but don't worry, we're gonna make it look more uh, darker in a minute. I'm going to be concealer, and I use two different concealers from the Star. I use C10 for under my eyes to cover my eye bags, and then I use C16 to match my skin all together and make it look more similar to my hands color. So after I have concealed on my face, I am going to go to set my under eye with American Strand Lucid Butter. You'll be wondering why am I not using Jeffree Star? If I'm honest, I don't have the Desperate Star translucent powder. I went with the beige color and I made the mistake of doing it because I didn't realize it had essence on it. And every time I wear it under my eyes, my makeup would be looking the bump and then my eyes would start crying because it gets irritated for some reason. So until I can get it, the translucent powder from Desperate Star I've been using. The Mary Kay one, and if I'm honest, it has been working really good for me. So I'm gonna set this out before I start getting like a drug. Uh, right, this setup, I am going to start just setting the rest of my face. I know it looks really white right now, trust me, it's not gonna look that white whenever I'm done. I'm going to put it in the rest of my face with Fit Me foundation powder um, on the color 130 and I'm just going to start setting the rest of my face. After I'm done applying everything all over my face and it looks the way I want it and it's all subtle on my face. I'll go really quick with the JS Morphe spray. I am going to be applying highlighter on my face. I am going to be using Diamond Wet from the F Star. I've been obsessed with this highlighter for a little bit. The best $30 I have ever spent if I'm honest. Um, I use it pretty much every day. So I don't like to apply highlighter with a brush because I feel like it takes away the glitter and I want to see the glitter. So what I usually do is I just stick my finger on it and I just apply or stay on my bow. So instead 
instead of being using um eyelid primer or like eyeshadow primer what i i used to you do it but then i started using the c10 as a primer on my lips and i think that the color pops out more than it does when you put a regular primer so i just use concealer <laughs> black sugar i love this palette i gotta say um i have every single one of his palettes including the collection from shane dozon which i'm gonna be posting soon and um i'm just in love with all of them if i'm honest like i feel like you can get so many looks out of one palette it's incredible i'm gonna be using the js morphe collaboration js13 and I'm gonna be dipping into cake mix up here and that's gonna be like our translucent color to our transition color. So then after I'm done with that, I'm gonna be using the same brush and then I am going to be dipping it back onto Blood sugar, but now I'm gonna be dipping into a cavity. It's this pink right here, very pink, and I'm gonna be dipping a lot into it. This is gonna be your corner color to a pink look. I apply on my other eye. I try not to go a lot in on the pink. We can always do it with concealer. Um, I am going to be applying a little bit of concealer like right here on the middle to make sure that the colors pop out when I start applying it. And I'll be right back. So I did a cock crease on both of my eyes, as you can see. It's a pretty weight one too, but as I say, we can always go back with the transition color. And we're gonna reach for um, my palette called, this is um, such a gem, 35 from Morphe, it looks like this, and we're just going to be going into this color right here first, and we're going to give color to our eyelid. I pocket that pink really good into my eye. As you can see, I gotta give this mirror a 10 out of 10 so far. I've been able to do everything I have wanted to so far with no problem. And oh my god, I am loving it. Like, it makes me like regret not getting the pink mirror that they just launched on the Conspiracy collection. Because it's like, this is so worth it, literally. It's so worth it, no joke. So next, I am going to be dipping into the same palette. But we're going to be going to this paint right here that is very glittery and I'm going to be using the same packing brush to apply it and then I'm going to blend it in really good. Similar, so I'm just going back into cake mix from Black Sugar and I'm going under my eyebrow. Really good with a uh, making it plan really similar. After I'm done applying it like all over the face, I am going to do some eyeliner too, some mascara, and I'm probably gonna do my eyebrows off camera because it takes me a long time. I'm not get that good with eyelids either, so I want to give you a tutorial on something that I don't know how to do, do the right way. But I'm gonna do one eye on camera, my eyeliner. In my other eye of camera, I'm going to be there using the Mary K 
day old to make mascara for my eyelashes. So after I'm done with the mascara, I already did it. I am going to do my eyebrows off um, camera and I'll be right back because it's a really long process and I don't want to bore you by looking at it. Be right back. After I'm done with my eyebrows, I'm going to apply some highlighter on my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna tie out my hair really good to be able to put the wig the wig in. Um, I tied it up on like a big um, ponytail because it's really long, and I want to be able to put it in really quick. After I put it in, I will style it so you guys can actually see how nice it looks. Um, I gotta say it only cost me like fifteen dollars on Amazon. So I am done finally putting the wig on and I'm finally done with this makeup look. I put some family jewels from Jeffree Star on and then I just put the wig on and here we are. I'm gonna stand up for a second so I can show you the wig. So this is how it looks in the back. As you can see it's very long and it looks very natural. Sorry, a lot of people are falling right now. It's really long. Really long. Now I'm gonna wear this is like I can put it like this. And it looks like it's my natural hair. Like I love it. Like I'm glad that I found my trick to actually keep my pin hair because I didn't want it to damage my hair again by bleaching it. Um I'm glad I could find a wig that actually worked, even if it's fifteen dollars from Amazon, it was definitely worth it. I was really surprised with the quality and how soft and how real it looks and I'm loving it. So I'm going to be leaving a couple pictures of this look at the end. And this is all for today. I'm going to be a little bit closer again. So you can see how I look. I am loving it literally. Just like look at this color. So this is all for today. I am very satisfied how this look came out. And I'm really loving it. I just hope to like, subscribe, and share this video. Hopefully you ring the bell. And if you have any ideas of what I should review next, please comment below. Because I'll be there. I'll be definitely checking them out. So bye. This is all for today. Thank you for watching again.